Yes, the moment you've all been waiting for. It is time for the grand final of the SAF Under-19 Women's Championship 2024. And it is the host Bangladesh taking on India in this final. Both teams have come into this tournament as the two top teams, as the two favorites. And it's defending champions Bangladesh who will have to defend their crown of being the SAF Under-19 Women's Champions. India started the tournament off with a massive 10-0 win against Bhutan, whereas Bangladesh got a 3-1 win against Nepal. Then it was both teams meeting each other in the group stage where Bangladesh, due to a Shagarika goal at the 90th minute, won the match. And then finally, as we can see, she is back into the team for Bangladesh. Shana Rani Mondo, the goalkeeper, along with Captain Afida Khandokar, who got the uh, assist in that match. Ruma Akhtar, Joyna Bibirita, Shuma Jannat, Munki Akhtar, Shapna Rani, Shagorika, Puja Dash, Iti Khatun, and Bonna Khatun make the playing 11. For India, it's Anika Devi, Li uh, Nitu Linda, Sonibia Devi, Toibi Sana Chanu Toijam, Vikshit Bara, Puja, Lalita Boypai, Sulan Janaral, Neha, Sibani Devi, and Hena Khatun. So we're seeing India with their big guns in this match as well. Neha has been one of the better performers. And in the last match that uh, India played against Nepal, she was on absolute fire, where India won 4-0, but Bangladesh also won their final match against Bhutan 4-0. And now Bangladesh topped their group. They finished top with three wins from three games India with two wins and one loss from their three games so this final is taking place at Dhaka's Kamalapur at the Beer Shresh to Shohid Shipahi Mustafa Kamal Stadium this is the Bangladesh team and the Indian team both getting ready having their team talks you see some of those uh, star players for Bangladesh Sharna in goal, she's done a tremendous job along with India's captain Mitu Linda there. So giving her team's team talk. Both goalkeepers will need to be on their game because Bangladesh and India both possess plenty of uh, attacking threat and firepower. Plenty of noise across the ground, the stadium has a lot of people in it and a lot of fans all supporting Bangladesh you'd wonder as the referee Ryan Jana kicks things off and Bangladesh can try and control possession in midfield India immediately regaining possession with their captain Nitu Linda passing it to the left for Neha Neha can't control it wins her team an early throw in We've seen that happen a lot, both teams uh, conceding a lot of throw-ins and now it'll be Vikshit Bara to take it long. Neha, now Sulanjana Rahul, she scored a goal in the last match as well, passes it towards Sibani Devi but it's a bit too long for her. And now Bangladesh can win a throw-in and now they take it long. Plenty of changes for Bangladesh in the last match against Bhutan. The likes of Shagorika and the regular captain Afida Khandokar both were rested. So they got uh, two extra days of rest compared to most of the Indian team players. Join up Bibirita now. Passing it back. Bangladesh looking to keep control but India pressing very nicely. Now Rahul giving the ball to Neha. This could be dangerous for Bangladesh. But the goalkeeper comes forward. Tries to control it and eventually it's defended. So the early exchange is being won by India here. From the left we saw Neha being very pivotal here in India's attack and now it's a handball. India winning themselves a free kick from a very good position early on. Bangladesh will need to do some early defending. In the previous match, during the group, group stage, Bangladesh and India, where they faced each other off, it was India winning a lot of uh, duels and uh, at this moment, they've won some of the early exchanges. Let's see 
what happens from this free kick. Afida Khandokar, the Bangladesh captain, trying to fix her defensive line. And for India, it'll be the number 11, Neha, taking the cross. The free kick. It's not very well guided. Very unlike what Neha has uh, shown so far in the tournament. And Bangladesh looking to hit on the break. Some really good work there done by Munki Akhtar, who scored a goal in her first match. And now Bangladesh making sure that uh, India couldn't control the ball in midfield. But they do have possession now. Munki once again running with it. And now it runs for another throw in. Join up BB Rita. Jersey number three. Taking a very long throw in and wins Bangladesh another one. A very deliberate tactic we've seen throughout the South Under 19 Championships. Where Bangladesh uh, used this uh, throw in tactic to move the ball forward. Long throw-ins from Joyna Bibirita. Their fullbacks, both of them adept at these long throw-ins. And now this could be an early opportunity, but Shagurika, she couldn't get there. The goalkeeper, Anika Devi, first to it. The first touch, in fact, uh, Anika Devi has taken in the match so far. Good strength shown by Iti Khatun. Now forward to Shagurika. She scored the goal in the last match against India. Driving forward and still with Shagurika. The cross comes in and it's defended. Toibisana Chandu Toijam. Getting a touch before it went straight to the keeper as we see here. That could have potentially been dangerous. If the ball changed trajectory in the end, you have to say it's good defending. Now, Bangladesh having some defending to do inside their own half. That's a bit of a shot and a cross, which is saved by the goalkeeper, Anika Devi. We saw her in action a while ago, and now. Sharna Rani Mondol, Bangladesh's goalkeeper, keeping things tight. Again, the ball comes back to her. India's front three looking pretty dangerous. Neha, along with Sibani Devi and Sulanjana Raul. The ball goes out for another throw in. You see the First assistant referee, Sunwar Prem Kumari. In midfield. Neither team really gaining any control. Now that pass will be intercepted. India can attack with Rahul. Look for Neha. But well defended on that occasion by Afida. And now Munki trying to control the ball. He's fouled. So Nibia Devi on that occasion with the foul. And we see Munki controlling it nicely, winning the loose ball. And then the infringement. So Bangladesh winning themselves their first free kick, free kick and uh, join up Bibi Rita. She's done a good job so far. Afida, Bangladesh's captain, to take the free kick. It's inside the tee box. Still a loose ball. Neither team really having much control here. Bangladesh not attacking with any conviction. The pass back to the goalkeeper. Shamarani Mondo gives it to her captain. Bangladesh look to build from defense to midfield to attack. Pass it along a bit more nicely. You can sense some nerves in the under-19 team. Right now, they are playing in front of a big crowd. 
here at uh, Komalapur Stadium. And this is a big final where they're taking on the tournament's second best team. And with the best attacking numbers so far, the most number have been by India. And it's their keeper who can play it long in midfield. India coming forward. The pass is there. This could be dangerous. And it's in. India with the early goal. Sibani Devi. And you can hear pin drop silence at the stadium as India take the lead in the eighth minute. Sibani Devi telling her dugout that she's here and ready to deliver for her team. There you see the long ball forward by the captain of India. A lovely delivery by India's captain Nitu Linda. A threaded pass past the defenders and just beautifully placed for Sibani Devi to beat the keeper, Bangladesh's keeper, Sharnarani Mondal. She was coming India, forward. Number 12, Sibani Devi. So India's persistence and slight edge in possession paying dividends. Can Bangladesh get a goal back now? The crowd stunned into silence. There were some drums playing just a while ago. Stopped for a bit. Now it's back on. India still will be very happy with this lead. They know this will only force them into creating more chances because Bangladesh will look to attack. Bangladesh will be forced to play higher up. And that will result in more opportunities for India to counter. Bangladesh is uh, join up BB Rita with the throw in. Now one in midfield. She can't control it though. And it's Sulanjana Rao passing it forward to Neha. The first touch by Neha is a bit heavy. He's trying to win the tussle. But fails to do so on that occasion. As the crowd find their voice once again. Passes it forward, looking for Shagorika. That's the combination that scored the goal in the last match where Bangladesh faced India. Opportunity, perhaps the keeper drops it. Munki tries to get a shot in. It's still not saved. Eventually, the keeper comes to the rescue. Munki Akhtar found herself in a dangerous position. There was a hint of handball there. Tried to get it in, and then some nervous defending by India's number 14 on that occasion, Hina Khatun. Again, Bangladesh playing it long. Met by India's defenders. And now, this could be another opportunity. Neha from the left is being challenged by Iti. Khatun beats Iti, gets her cross in. But eventually, it's defended by the captain, Afida. He clears the ball away from danger. For India's throw in, Vikshit Bara getting ready. Also very good at uh, long throw ins, gives it to Sulanjana Rao who makes a mess of it. And now Bangladesh trying to keep possession. And they have pressed very nicely and very high up the pitch whenever Bangladesh have had the ball, especially in midfield. Bangladesh need to find other ways to progress the ball forward 
more dangerous zones. India making sure most of the possession, whenever Bangladesh keep it, is either in midfield or in their own half. The referee sees an infringement there, Ryan Jana. Perhaps Shapna Rani of Bangladesh there was a handball there and it'll be a free kick for India in midfield. So Bangladesh needing to defend early on again. This will be frustrating uh, for the young girls because they will want to find more attacking opportunities and losing the ball here and letting India attack again. Again, as we see the battle eventually won by a Bangladesh defender. Now in midfield, Shagarika's in space, passes it back. Now a forward pass by Bonna Khatun, but can't control it on that occasion. Still it's with Shagurika now. Can't beat her opposition player. Ball dropping with three Bangladesh players converging and eventually Rana Bibirita winning it the pass back crossing it inside the Indian D box and it's very well defended on this occasion and India looking to hit on the break with their captain Nitulinda hoofing the ball up forward the target was clear she wanted to give it to Pooja In midfield we're seeing no team really have any control Only moments of uh, possession and there are occasions where the loose ball is being contested for by both teams. Now India can attack from the right. Puts the cross in Puja, looking for Rahul. And now Nitu Linda gets her pass away. But it's straight Preeti Khatun. And again Nitu Linda finding it. Another goal scorer passes it forward. Ball comes to Neha. And Bangladesh can't clear their lines. It's with Sulanjana Rao who passes it to Sidbani Devi. The cross comes in. Bangladesh yet to really clear the line and be safe from the danger that India possess. And eventually, a wayward pass by Vikshit Bara leads to a goal kick and some pressure released on this occasion. Join of Bibirita. And now Afida Khandokar keeping her composure in defense. Passing it forward. Munki on target in possession. Has to be because she's the one who's been in amongst the goals along with Shagarika. Again, another opportunity for India. But the ball goes out of play. It'll be a goal kick. You're watching us on VTV and also on Sportsworks. Those that are watching on Sportsworks, be sure to subscribe. And we see that opportunity here for India. Neha from the left. The cross a bit too long. looking to build again from defense to attack Puja Dash not really finding a way past the Indian defense it comes back to Iti Khatun and now it's won by Sulanjana Rao who has Neha in front of her and again it's Sipani Devi the shot just goes over the bar that was another opportunity for Sivani Devi to get goal number two. India have been relentless with the press. And be sure to watch out for the under 16 women's championship. It will be from March 1st.
and sports works. Now Bangladesh have an opportunity. Shagorika gets past one defender but cannot beat the other. Doing the last ditch defending on that occasion. And we see Bangladesh winning themselves another throw in though. This time Shagorika's header doesn't have the required power. An easy save for India's goalkeeper Anika Devi. Munki Akhtar and Shagorika looking the more dangerous of the two Bangladesh players. And right now they will have to deliver for the home team to send the fans home happy. So far it's been India creating the best chances and they really should have been two goals ahead. Sibani Devi had a great opportunity just a while ago. She was one-on-one -on -one with the Bangladesh keeper Sharna Rani Mondol. She couldn't keep her shot on target from a very close range. Perhaps the angle was a bit difficult. But all you need from there is to try and keep it on target and see what happens. You have enough power, it's bound to go in. Shagorika crosses it, but there is no one there eventually for Bangladesh. Puja Dash comes forward. And now in midfield, India take back control and possession. Playing the ball forward. Sulanjana Rahul winning the header. And still keeping control. Excellent work there by the Indian number nine. And she did that a while ago, passed it towards Sibani Devi. And it's a tactic that India are using to quite a good effect here. Getting their attacking players involved, Sibani Devi, Neha, Sulanjana Rahul and Puja. This time Sony Bia Devi with the throw in and uh, it goes out for another throw in. This time for Bangladesh and uh, join of Rita. That's a good one from her. Finds Shagorika, but Shagorika cannot find another Bangladesh player. It only goes as far as Jana Bibirita. And from the left, Munki. And now, Shopna Rani passing it back to Jana Bibirita. And it will be another throw in for Bangladesh. In the last few minutes, Bangladesh have put on a bit more pressure on the Indian defence and some good skill shown by Jarnop and now Munki trying to win the ball Jarnop comes in and helps her the cross comes in and it's well defended it will be a corner though for Bangladesh Toibi Sana Chanu once again doing the last ditch defending for India Shagorika was the target just behind her. Now another opportunity this time for Bangladesh. Can they create something from this corner kick? They scored one against Bhutan in the last match. The corner is good. The header unfortunately is not. And it was the Bangladesh captain Afida who got her head to it. As you see just lacking the direction and the goalkeeper she will be counting her lucky star Zanika Devi and on that occasion it was off target and they are taking back possession in midfield and to Linda to Raul she passes it forward and Neha's running for it gets her cross in straight to the keeper and uh, Another opportunity there for India. It's very clear the way they're attacking, the way they're countering with their attacking players. Sulanjana Raul being used as a false nine almost, coming in deep and playing the ball forward for India's two wingers, left and right wingers, to attack. And now again another through ball this time by Nitulinda. She did provide the first assist. And the only assist of this match for India's goal scorer Sibani Devi. India 
Tigers defense doing its job. And now Sivani Devi passing it forward to Linda. Can't really find another Indian player. It's all a bit scrappy right now. Both teams struggling to control play and possession. Perhaps Bangladesh feeling the nerves of playing in the final in front of a big crowd. The composure that we saw from them early on in the tournament missing in the opening stages here. India on the other hand taking advantage. Although I wouldn't say full advantage of it because they could have been 2 nil ahead. Now once again in midfield Bangladesh trying to take possession. Some good work done there by India's number six. So that will be a throw in. Bichit Bara, she will be taking it. Linda finds Bichit Bara. Back to Sumi Bia Devi. And now Sibani Devi. Bangladesh's captain Afida eventually gathers and gives it back to her keeper, Sharna Rani. That's a good ball by Sharna. Shapna Rani controlled it. But now again, India in possession from midfield. Looking to build Nitulinda. Plays it forward for Sibani Devi. Her cross comes in. Rahul was the target. She finds it along with Neha. And then Pooja. Now back with Fikshit Bara. Some really good work there by the Indian captain Nitulinda. Winning her team a foul. Bangladesh is a shot. Rani tried to press her a bit too much. And eventually led to the foul. And now India with another free kick in a good position. India's number four, Toby Sana Chanu, to take it. Shauna Rani Mondol, Bangladesh's goalkeeper, trying to get her defending line and her defenders in line this is a big moment in this match one feels if India go 2-0 ahead they've certainly set themselves up for victory there is a bit of an infringement of foul on one Bangladesh player and now the referee wants to check on her this Bangladesh is the number 21 Bonna Khatun. Now passed in midfield. Big shit. Bara was perhaps the first choice for Nitu Linda. She can't pass it correctly, giving the ball away. And now Munki driving forward. Needs a bit of support though. No Bangladesh players coming forward. This seems to be a theme in this match where Bangladesh's uh, players are a bit isolated in attack. We've seen that happen with Chagurika and now we're seeing that happening with uh, Munki as well. Nakhatun can't control it. And now Puja gives it to the goal scorer, Sibani Devi. Now winning it back. Still with India in possession. There's the captain Nitu Linda. This time her pass is again intercepted. Now Munki looking for options. Driving forward. And again, great work there by Sulanjana Rahul, but still Munki winning it back. Now from the right, Bangladesh looking to attack with Pujadash. 
Sulanjana Rao. She's been brilliant in this match. Has Neha up front. And this time it's going to be Pooja, in fact. Pooja's cross comes in only as far as a Bangladesh defender. Rao winning the ball back. It gives it straight to a Bangladesh player. And now Pooja Dash from the right side. The pass this time by Munki, letting her down straight at Indian defender into Linda. Now Bangladesh attacking with more numbers. Shatna moving forward. Winning her team a free kick it seems. In fact, the ref Ranjana deciding that it will be a free kick for the visitors, India. And Toby Sana Chanu, she can take this free kick. The stadium filled with more fans than it has been so far in this tournament. And now India once again in attack. And it's Sibani Devi. She's one on one with the keeper. The shot though is saved by Shana Rani Mondol and it's straight at her. As you see Sibani Devi, she perhaps took a touch in the wrong direction. Had she tried to cut in a bit, she would have had a better angle to shoot from. She closed the angle for herself. Again, Neetu Linda, India's captain, putting on a captain's performance tonight. All over midfield and even defending when required, India's number 10. Pooja Dash looking for Bangladesh's uh, Munki Akhtar. And now, India offside on this occasion, so it'll be a free kick for Bangladesh. About to cross the half hour mark, the score line is still India 1, Bangladesh nil. And India have really produced the best chances, thoroughly deserve to be ahead. Bangladesh will need to find something special to try and gain something out of this match. This is the final. Winning this matters most. Bangladesh to build from defense back into the attack. And now Shopna eventually controlling it. Bangladesh moving forward with numbers, but that's a wayward pass by Bangladesh's Ruma Akhtar. All the good work was being done by Bangladesh's attackers. Ruined with that one shot. Rumakhtar couldn't keep her composure on that occasion. Instead of playing the pass, she wanted to shoot from midfield. And now India with possession. Building play nicely. That's Pooja. Now back to their captain, Nikolinda, who's always got one of those two balls for Neha or the goal scorer Sibani Devi but Bangladesh can find some possession in good spaces and places and Shagovika moving forward 15 past two defenders but can't keep hold eventually India dealing with it on the left again Bangladesh looking to attack and it's Munki who loses possession we have pressed so high and so much and so well. It's been very difficult for Bangladesh to even breathe in the Indian of in the Indian half and they're winning themselves another throw in. So Nibia Devi, not the best of throw ins, that's Shagorika. But she opts for the shot instead of trying to 
forward and get into a better position. It's an easy save for Anika Devi. And she plays it long. Raul is the target. Neha coming forward with Bangladesh clearing the danger so far. Again, it's a long ball forward. And now Shapna trying to win it. Only as far as Pooja Dash. Now she gives it to Munki, who's offside, unfortunately. India's number two. Ready to take this free kick. Sonibia Devi. Again, trying to regain possession and they do there's another infringement by Bangladesh perhaps a handball and you see the crowd that have turned up to watch this final match of the tournament the fans so far waiting in anticipation creating noise enjoying themselves but they're waiting for Bangladesh's first goal that is for sure they want to see the home team winning. Lots of support for the under-19 team. And now, running forward, but well defended. Bangladesh again. This time it's Shapna. She takes the shot, but didn't have enough power and direction. You can sense that Bangladesh are trying a bit too hard, getting shots out of difficult positions rather than getting into good positions and shooting. Another goal kick and India's Anika Devi, she can take her time with it. Takes a short goal kick instead of taking it long. Even perhaps the defender wasn't expecting it. Now Bangladesh regaining possession with Munki and then Shagurika. It's out for throwing. Bangladesh is still excited by the teacher. Not happy with the passing that he's seeing. Letting his team players know exactly what he feels. They haven't performed as well as they could have which is why they find themselves a goal down and have it all to do in the remaining minutes in the first half as Shahulika comes forward and is met again by an Indian player, India's number 14, Hena Khatun, does the defending, keeps it out for another goal kick. India's defense has been very solid. Sonibia, Devi, Irom, Tokisana, Chanu, Toijam, and Hena Khatun all doing a very good job. Now for Bangladesh, that's another misplaced pass by Ruma Akhtar, Bangladeshi defender. And there seems to be some nerves from the girls, Bangladesh under 19 girls. Field. It's a long ball forward, almost in hope that Shagurika gets the second ball. And again, it'll be India's captain Nitu Linda who gives it as far as Pooja. And now Lalita Boypai gives it to Vikshit Bara. Bangladesh now again, and they break. Munki. Munki takes on two Indian midfielders. Now that shot had a much better direction and power in it by Shapna Rani. She was in space. 
not the worst decision to take that shot, but a good save by India's goalkeeper Anika Devi. That's the first save she's actually had to ma make in this match. Cross comes in. This could be dangerous for Bangladesh. And now Bangladesh looking to build again. From midfield. Oh, now that's a foul there. And the referee just giving a warning. No cards being shown. To India, Sonibia Devi. Trying to infringe Shagorika on that occasion. And now Bangladesh trying to win the loose ball from the left. It's Munki, gives it to Shagorika, who gives it back to Munki. Can she get her cross? Can't beat India's goal scorer Sibani Devi. And now it's with Raul. Eventually well defended. So a throw in for India. You have to give them their flowers for the way they've played in this match so far. They've done a great job. This is the final of the South Under 19 Women's Championship between Bangladesh and India. I'm your commentator, Shanu Rabbani. You're watching us on Sportsworks. Be sure to subscribe and also. For those in Bangladesh, you're watching us on Bangladesh's national television, BTV. It's a corner kick for India now. Bangladesh having to defend ahead of the uh, half-time break. Went to the 40th minute and you can see the gallery is almost full in Bangladesh's half. Plenty of people have turned up. They had to take this corner and the header is missed, but again, there was an opportunity for Sibani Devi to get her second goal. She missed her shot. But the result is another corner kick for India. and steadily India gaining more and more control and the fans, they are waiting in expectation. Does something happen here? For Bangladesh's sake, they will want to defend this. Sulanjana Rao, she attacked it. It was a low corner, a low cross. And it's back with India's defense. And you can see they're playing four defenders. They're really not attacking that corner. They have four players in front of their keeper. And now, Sulanjana Raul pushing Bangladesh's defender on that occasion, Shurma Jannat. She's down. Seems to have hurt herself a bit because of a collision with uh, India's number nine. But now Bangladesh looking to keep some possession and move the ball into a more dangerous area. One of India's players are down right now. And it seems to be their number 14, Hena Khatun. The referee is signaling that she needs some treatment. The fans, though, are enjoying themselves Dance, some dancing going on. You're watching us on Sportsworks and be sure to subscribe to our channel. And for those in Bangladesh, you're watching us on Bangladesh television. Plenty of people here have turned up at Kamalapur Space Shohit Shipahi Mustafa Kamal Stadium. 
been Dhaka's Kamalapur. It seems like she'll be fine to continue, Hena Khatun. Bangladesh would desperately want to end the first half level at 1-1, but they haven't created anything substantial so far. Again, it's the goal scorer, Sibani Devi, who defends, and now India looking to attack. Pujas running forward. Bangladesh with some defending to do, and Jornob Bibirita passing it out of play for a throw-in. India's goal scorer, Sibani Devi. She'll take the throw-in on this occasion. Gives it to Sunibia Devi. India still keeping possession, but now Bangladesh deal with the loose ball. Only as far as India's Toibi Sanachanu who passes it forward. And again. Both teams really playing ping pong here with the ball, giving it to each other. No control. India quite happy to do that, one feels. Just waste some time before halftime. And keep the score line as it is. Ruin any sort of momentum Bangladesh try to build. It's a tactic that's working beautifully for the visiting team. We're in a good position right now. And some defending to do for Bangladesh. And now they look to break. Bonna Khatun. Can't get past the Indian defense. Very good work done there by Sony Bia. And now she passes it forward. Raul is the destination. And then Niti Khatun winning the ball, passing it. Will go only as far as Vikshit Bara, but her pass lets her down. And now Munki, she can look to have the ball. Bangladesh really messing up their formation and their positioning here in the first half. Players all over the pitch. I'm sure Saiful Bariti, too, the head coach, will have some stern words with her with this team. Again, another loose ball. Bangladesh can't pass it past the Indian midfield. And they're just showing how to play, in fact, Anitu Linda with a much more cultured pass. And they're holding on to the ball for too long, being pressed by the Indian players. We see that again happening. Raul, she pressed and didn't allow Bangladesh to control it. But it is a free kick in favor of Bangladesh. And you can see how much they're willing to press. It's Raul and Puja coming forward. Not allowing Bangladesh any space in those free kicks. Because they know what happened last time. So it's been a clear directive by India's head coach. That's for sure. Shukla Datta. And now India looking to attack from the right flank. The cross comes in with Neha, another cross, and it was almost in. Puja was the uh, target. But on that occasion, we've seen Neha score some great goals as well. And that was another opportunity for India. Lots of open spaces in front of Bangladesh's defense. We really can't deal with the Indian press at this moment. Another poor pass. Again, another opportunity for India to attack and find their second goal. Ahead of half time. Some last ditch defending being done by Bangladesh. And you can see once they're doing their defending, the players are staying static because they're not confident whether the next player is going to take the ball and have some control. So as a result of which, by staying static, they're actually making it more difficult for the players in possession to pass it accurately. Two added minutes have been given and almost two minutes are done. So the ref 
should be blowing her whistle and she does so it's half time Ryan Jana says Bangladesh thoroughly dominated in the first half creating very little and the fans although they've been enthusiastic haven't really had much to cheer about there was that one shot by Shapna Rani from distance that tested the Indian goalkeeper Anika Devi. Apart from that, nothing to really write home about. India will be much the happier of the two teams. As in halftime, it's Bangladesh nil. India won in the SAF Under-19 Championship 2024. Your commentator for the night, I'm Shahnu Rabbani. And I'll be there for the second half. Stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe for those who are watching on Sportsworks in our YouTube channel and also you're watching us on Bangladesh television in Bangladesh. We'll be right back. Stay tuned.
Well, we're back once again in the SAF Under-19 Women's Championship 2024's final between Bangladesh and India, where Bangladesh are trailing to India thanks to a Sibani Devi goal in the first half. India will be looking to hold on to this lead, perhaps score a few more as well. We get ready for kickoff. So the referee ran Jana just looking at her watch, making sure everything is set. Bangladesh will start proceedings with possession, and you can see some fireworks blowing up inside and around the stadium in fact from some of the fans They're creating quite the atmosphere the fans are really behind Bangladesh and they want to see something happening something special happening from the home team here join up Bibi Rita passes it back to her captain and now from the left Bangladesh looking to attack early on in the second half Cross is met an Indian defender. And India cleared their lines, but only as far as the captain. And now India again having to defend. Bangladesh winning themselves an early throw in in the first half. Jona Bibirita taking the throw in long, but met by. An Indian defender once again. And that's been the case really with Bangladesh playing the ball in the air too much and losing possession. And the visitors can attack. Oh, only as far as Shapna Rani. And now in midfield. Bunna Khatun winning that duel, passing it back to join up and then Munki. She's in possession, turning and playing it to her left to Shapna Rani. And Munki once again getting the better of India's number eight. The shot just over the goalkeeper's head. So plenty more action early on in the second half. Munki's pass and then again Bangladesh shooting from very difficult positions. They're not really helping themselves by not breaking forward. Perhaps not feeling enough confidence and we see an early change. India once again keeping things tight in their defense. Vikshit Bara with the throw in. And now she wins the ball back. But it's Moonki who can't pass it accurately. It needed to be a better cross. And now India's goal scorer Sibani Devi. She plays the ball forward to. Puja, who looks to be offside and is Bangladesh playing a high line. The offside trap working on this occasion. Join of Bibirita getting ready to take the free kick, but there's an extra ball inside the field. And now Afida. India pressing and winning back position. Nitu Linda. Turning and giving it to Raul. Raul will find Neha in a lot of space. This could be dangerous for the hosts. The cross coming in. And it's out for a corner kick. Brilliant play by India. Making sure Bangladesh couldn't pass it nicely. And winning the corner kick. 
due to some relentless pressure. Now India can win the first corner of the second half in the 49th minute. The scoreline, Bangladesh nil, India 1. This is the final. They can make it 2-0 here. And they'd have one hand in that trophy. Neha with the corner kick. It's a good one. Bangladesh yet to really clear. And finally, they managed to do so, but again, India's pressing, leading to another misplaced pass. This time by Ruma Akhtar, who hasn't had a great match so far. Lots of misplaced passes by her. Vikshit Bara throws it straight to Sulanjana Rahul. And she's got control. She's played beautifully in this match. Looking for Sibani Devi and finds her. Great pass. And now back again to the Indian defense. But won by Shagurika just momentarily before being cleared. And Bangladesh again taking the aerial route when they should be passing it forward. Because of the Indian press, they don't know what to do, how to react to it. They're taking too much time with the ball in possession and as a result of which India are controlling things. This time we can see Bangladesh failing to control. It's the captain Afida who comes forward and again it's a long ball forward. India's defenders dealing with it. Bangladesh is Munki passing it back to her captain. And again, a long ball forward. Puja Dash can't get it because it's got too much weight on it. And it'll be a throw in. It's Vikshit Barao who will throw the ball forward from defense, trying to get the ball back in midfield. And now referee deems there to be no foul. India are coming forward in numbers. And Neha from the left controls the ball, crosses it in. Sibani Devi and Rahul perhaps was the target. Sibani Devi couldn't control it. Bangladesh so far averting danger. But they are flirting with danger at the same time. The way they're playing. They're allowing India to have a lot of possession in their own half. Not controlling the ball when they have the ball in possession. And now India can earn themselves another corner. The second one in the second half. India looking more and more likely to score this second goal. And finish this match. In all honesty, you have to say the match that Bangladesh won against India in the group stage was a bit of a smash and grab because leading up to that goal by Shagorika, no team had uh, really dominated play. India had a bit more possession. They perhaps created the better chances, but they were unfortunate not to score. And Bangladesh took their chance, the best chance that they created. In this match, till now, they haven't done that. They haven't created those chances. They've taken shots from long out. And now this is an opportunity. Shagorika fails to control it. India's defense comes to their aid. And now it's Neha. Gives it to their captain. But she's offside. So the referee Anjana Rai. She's saying that the free kick will go the host's way. And now this is an opportunity for Bangladesh from the left. A pass back and again great work by India's attackers. Especially Neha on that occasion and now Sulanjana Rao running forward. Bangladesh is Joyna Bibirita winning the ball and passing it to her goalkeeper Shornarani Mondol. Who gives it back to her captain Afida. Afida's ball forward is going to be met by India's Thuibisana. 
And now once again in midfield, India can take control, take time with the ball. And now Neha's in. And this could be goal number two, but then the goalkeeper comes out. Some last-ditch defending by Sharna Rani Mondol. And that keeps the scoreline as it is. India with a brilliant opportunity here. Neha passing it forward to Pooja and she just couldn't control the ball as Sharna Rani Mondal came forward and then some last-ditch defending. Joyna Bibirita clearing the ball out of danger in the end. Again, in midfield, it's Lalita Boypai passing it to the goal scorer Sibani Devi and now Raul takes the shot and it's defended and deflected out for another corner. India's pressure is relentless. We're into the 55th minute. And so far, it looks like they'll get another chance here from this corner kick. So far, India's looked quite good in this second half. Continuing as they started. The corner is met by a Bangladesh defender. But Neetu Linda, she gets it, can't control it. Lalita Boypai had it, took her shot, again defended. Bangladesh looking to break with Chagorika. And now, this time from the left, it's Pooja Dash. And Neetu Linda gets it back onto Vikshit Bara. And now finds the goal scorer who switched her flank and now getting back into her usual position. She's done attacking, she's done defending. We're talking about, of course, Sibani Devi. And now Bangladesh is 11, Pooja Dash. She looks for Iti Khatun, who can't really control it, but still wins the throw in for Bangladesh. And now. We're going to be seeing Saiful Bariti to looking to make a few more changes. Iti with the pass forward, which ends up back to her feet. And again, India's pressing and intercepting, allowing them to deal with whatever attack Bangladesh are trying to make. Join up Bibirita on that occasion, trying to pass it forward. And again, India winning the loose ball. There was a tussle between Joynob and India's number seven shop, uh, in, in fact, Pooja. Pooja winning the ball back. Great control there shown by her. Lalita Boypai to her captain. Neetu Linda. And now Vikshit Bara. Passing it forward to Neha. Neha's cross coming in, but again, last ditch defending by Rumakhtar. Goes only as far as Vikshit Bara, but she's made a wrong pass. Looking for her captain. She couldn't pass it forward, but her captain does the tackling and gets the ball out of Bangladesh's feet just for the time being. And now Vikshit Bara having to do some defending herself, being pressed by Bangladesh's Shurma Jannat. Iti Khatun wins the throw-in. Now, the long ball forward falls for the goalkeeper. She spills it at first, but then wins it. At the second attempt, Anika Devi. Bangladesh really haven't created anything in the second half. It was a long ball forward by Shagorika. Munki was the uh, desired target. And again, Neha from the left, looking to attack in space. Her deliveries have been better in the tournament, but so far, she's also had a decent match. Saiful Bariti too having a clock and probably wondering when he'll make more substitutes. We're nearing the 60th minute. Now, India's Vikshit Bara passing it forward. But defended by Afida. Iti Khatun pressing Neha. 
onto making that mistake. And now Shagorika wins that header. Wins the ball again from the right. She's into space. She needs some support though. As Vikshitbara runs back to try and defend. And defend she does. But Shagorika wins the ball back. There is a tussle. They need players forward. And finally, it's a throw-in. It's not a corner. But it is a throw-in for Bangladesh. Iti. She'll take it long, it seems. Plenty of players moving into the D-box. It's a fast throw-in taken. Iti. She controls it. And now, Bangladesh looking to attack. The cross coming in, but then well defended by Lalita Boypai. Bangladesh's captain, Afida, trying to shoot. Trying to put the ball in. And now India can attack from the left. Plenty of space there for Pooja. She crossed it forward, but found on that occasion Shurma Jannat. And she saves Bangladesh from conceding the second goal. Shurma passes it to join up Bibi Rita. In fact, it's the captain Afida right now. And now it's join up. Join up's pass not good, but still finding Shopna Rani and Shopna Rani's pass even worse straight at the Indian defense. She had options to her right. Really simple passes could have worked. Bangladesh getting frustrated perhaps, looking for the spectacular and making mistakes. And now again, Pooja from the right looking to attack. The cross coming in, but well defended. And now Sibani Devi losing the ball. She scored the opening goal. Keep in mind, she scored the only goal of this match. And now Shopna Rani passing it forward for E.T. E.T. passes it back to Ruma Akhtar. Ruma with a good pass forward this time. But well intercepted by India's captain, Linda. And she wins the ball back. And then, Shurma Jannat with the lofted ball forward. Shagurika was the destination. And now, Bangladesh trying to build something here. Shapna Rani. That's a poor pass straight at Puja. And now, Puja trying to control the ball. Fails to do so. Bangladesh's captain comes to the rescue. But you can see Bangladesh are passing it amongst themselves and playing it straight back to the Indian players. Looking like deer in front of headlights. Quite lost in this match. Despite the uh, home crowd support who have created a great atmosphere for the girls. They're wilting under the pressure of playing in the final. Shagorika, who's been the Bangladesh's best player in this tournament so far with three goals, has barely been involved. And now India can attack. There we see from the left, Neha's running forward, looking to win the ball. But Afida can't clear her lines, gives it back to Pooja. And now that's Sulanjana Rahul. And Rahul seems to have fouled Bangladesh's Shapna Rani. So it will be a free kick for the hosts. Here we see Shagorika just for a while. She's been uh, quite lost in this uh, match. Hasn't found the back of the net yet. Hasn't found any opportunities, uh, any good opportunities in front of goal either. And now it's Shapna. Shapna coming forward. And from the left now, Bangladesh looking to attack, but the ball goes out of play. It'll be a goal kick. Omela Marma coming on in the second half to attack from the left flank. Saiful Bari T2 making that one change. Looking for goals. It's a decision he's been forced into making. And now you see, again in midfield, Bangladesh losing control with a poor pass. 
coach Saiful Bardi T2 giving the ball to Bangladesh's number 17 Iti Khatun whose throw-in is met very well by India's uh, Linda, the captain. She passes it forward to Sulanjana Rao who has a lot of space to give the ball to Sibani Devi who runs forward inside the D-box. The tackle is made and what does the ref decide? Sibani Devi is still down but the ref has decided on a goal kick. I do not think Bangladesh's defender got any of that. Any of the ball that is. But she did get a chunk of Sibani Devi's left leg. And a decision could have gone against the hosts on that occasion. But the ref, Ryan Jana, showing that she is perhaps willing to give the decision in favor of the uh, hosts and which he did eventually and now in midfield Bangladesh again this time winning the ball but failing to control it the passing lacking accuracy it's a bit too direct from the hosts they haven't found the amount of cool required to pass the ball forward in India's half and India have pressed brilliantly as well at the same time. As we saw an example of that. India's press le leading to that throw-in for India. Umela Marma with a misplaced pass. And now it's India's number two. Sonibia Devi. She's been uh, good in defense so far. In fact, all of India's defense has uh, turned up. And they've done a job. After getting that first goal, they've made sure Bangladesh can't break through. They've pressed and uh, they've marked quite well out of possession. And now, again, Raul with the ball gives it forward to Neha, who controls it brilliantly. Beating Iti, gets her cross in. The header from Raul, though. Just off target. Shornarani Mondol having to do a lot of work in front of goal. And uh, to her credit that Bangladesh aren't down 2-0. Because India did create the best opportunity in the second half to score that second goal. Bangladesh will count their lucky stars that the scoreline is still 1-0. Because they haven't attacked with much conviction and control. Join of Bibirita with the long throw in. And it's straight at an Indian player. So you can tell what the target is. And uh, it went straight over the uh, audience's head. The spectators' heads. It's another throw in for Bangladesh. From which they look to attack from the left. Omela Marma. The pass has a bit too much weight on it for Moonki to really control and she seems to have hurt her head and what is the ref suggesting? Well, she's suggesting that Moonki needs needs some help but the crowd are cheering. They're thinking it's a penalty. I don't think the ref has given Bangladesh a penalty. Only time will tell. Let's see what exactly happened so the pass came forward Munki tried to use the first touch and uh, it didn't go according to plan India's defender I think she did foul Munki in the end and uh, we'll see if it's a penalty right now Munki is getting treated and she seems to be fine the crowd are enjoying themselves they're waiting in anticipation as to what will happen. You're watching us on Sportsworks. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. I'm your commentator, and I've been your commentator throughout this tournament, Shamu Rabbani. And you're also watching us on BTV. So it's not a it's not a penalty as I initially thought. Bangladesh 
again struggling to keep possession they have to build from midfield being pressed by India trying to attack from the left to Mela Marma leaving herself with a lot to do and eventually winning her side a corner kick so making India's defender India's number two defender Sonibia Devi Rom work hard and on that occasion getting the better of her Remember, Umela Marma came into the match in the second half, so she is the fresher of the two players. Shopna, Shopna Rani, who took that shot from wide with the corner kick, and this time the header over the bar. This was Bangladesh's best opportunity. Shopna again involved in it. The corner kick was good, and the header by Shurma Jannat way off target she needed to find a bit more direction and control in that the ball is out in the middle and India they've dominated proceedings in midfield Bangladesh trying to keep some control and gain possession and control in midfield they lose it India once again looking to attack in the counter it's a tussle going on between Bangladesh's captain and Sulanjana Raul. Eventually, Afida managing to clear things. And now it's Iki. Puja running forward, trying to win the ball. Not the best moment for her in this match. Slipping and sliding and falling while India's captain Nitu Linda kept a hold of the ball. And now we can see Neha almost to trying to do the same thing as uh, Iti Khatun runs the ball out for a goal kick. Bangladesh looking to make two substitutions. Their number 11 coming off for number 19. So Puja Das's match is over and so too is Bangladesh's number 19 coming on. So it's Sultan Akhtar who's coming on for Pooja Dash. And uh, Pooja seems to have hurt her leg a bit. And number 21, Bonna Khatun also out. Kanon Rani Bahadur coming on as well. So Kanon immediately, she had a bit of the ball and some possession. Losing out for another throw in. India looking to close out this match. And the way Bangladesh have played, they deserve to be down 3 or 4 nil. They're very lucky that India haven't managed to take advantage. And also, some good goalkeeping. Shagorika, once again, with the ball now. A rare moment for her with the ball. And then the pass is absolutely poor by Umela Marma, making a mess of it. And that sums up Bangladesh in attack. Wayward, toothless and rather callous. Bangladesh staring down victory right now. Seems to be in a lot of uh, danger and bother against this Indian defense that have done their job. Again, the ball coming forward. And Bangladesh failing to really control things. This could be an opportunity though. Shagorika, she wanted to pass it and then there was an infringement. What does the referee say? I don't think she's awarded a foul. Munki Akhtar went down. The referee looking at Shagorika and telling her no, there was no foul on this occasion. As you see... Shagurika had the ball and there was a foul by the Indian player. So Bangladesh again losing another opportunity to attack. The ref saying that there was no foul on that occasion. And now India can attack from the left. Neha Hoofing the ball up forward. 
very unlike her. She likes to put her crosses in, but look at that. That's brilliant play. Lalita Boypai on that occasion. She came forward and now Bangladesh looking to hit on the counter. Can't beat that number two. She's been an absolute colossus in front of defense for India. Sonibia Devi Irom. She's got Irom in her last name, but it should be Iron because she's been an absolute Iron woman in front of defense. Not allowing anything. And Bangladesh have looked quite lost and timid in front of that Indian defense. Again, in midfield you can see some sloppy passing and India dealing with it with ease. And now from the right, India attacking. Neha moving forward. The keeper comes into action. Sharna Rani Mondal, she doesn't look too happy with what her team is doing. That seems to be a foul on India's captain, Neetu Linda. The crowd may jeer as much as they like, but Kanon Rani Bahadur had, had to pay the price for that foul. And now the referee is saying that she needs a bit of help here. The Indian captain, the referee Ryan Jana, trying to keep a lid on matters here. Telling the Bangladesh players to just give the Indian captain a bit of space. As the crowd, they're also getting agitated and waiting in anticipation. A lot of people have come here. And we can see a sign of BD Ultras on this occasion. Bangladeshi football ultras, they've been in this tournament. In the last tournament, we didn't see them. And in this tournament, they've added a bit more noise and color in the stadium following the under-19 girls all the way. But in the final, it's the under-19 girls who have let their home side down, not managing to create anything good. And we're into the 77th minute. Bangladesh looking down and out. And India with another chance to attack. It hasn't been a match of the highest quality, we must say. Both teams have played some, some of their worst football in this tournament. But still India, they've been the lesser of the two teams who have performed poorly. Bangladesh have been way below par. Because both of the teams have plenty in attack. As we can see, Shagorika once again running into an Indian defender. Sibani Devi, the goal scorer. She scored the first and now the second one. Can India get that second goal? And it's a poor pass by Pooja. She was a bit confused as to whether to shoot or then take the cross. There was Raul in there. Eventually, the cross coming in and was wayward. Bangladesh now looking to attack from the left. Again, you can see, I told you about this player for India and uh, look at her. She's been so impressive. Again, from the right, India looking to attack now, Lalita Boypai. Pujada will be offside. She kicks it to the goalkeeper. The Bangladesh goalkeeper, Sharna Rani Mondal. It'll be a Bangladesh free kick from here. Time is running out for the hosts. They need to find a bit of spark, some inspiration, some innovation, a moment of intelligence. They need something for their home team fans to enjoy. The home team fans are chanting some things that uh, uh, I wouldn't want to mention on commentary. Uh, but as I can understand <laughs> Bangla, I can tell you they're not giving any compliments to India. That's for sure. Right now in the middle of the park, Bangladesh moving forward. And that's a misplaced pass. But still, Munki gets it, tries to beat the defender there. On that occasion, Hina Khatun winning Bangladesh a corner. Really from a mistake by India. 
a rare mistake and it feels like for Bangladesh to score a goal India will have to make a mistake the best chances for Bangladesh have come from corners will it be third time lucky for Shopna Rani who will get ready to take the corner Shagurika is there in front of the goalkeeper and in between another defender there are bodies in front of goal for Bangladesh again the header comes in and it's well defended but India still not clearing their lines this time they do and you can see the disappointment on Shurma's face because she had a bit of an opportunity there in front of goal she probably is more disappointed with time running out as we see Saiful Bariti to also checking his watch and realizing that not much time is left doesn't look like a very happy man right now and look at that passing it's been wayward but India failing to capitalize on it India's Lalita Boypai on that occasion and for me India's player of the match has to be their number two their left their right back in fact and who's again having to defend this time she can't the captain coming forward Linda and this time it's some good defending by Bangladesh's number six Munki Akhtar Neha she's intercepted now Iti Iti's pass is poor it's straight at Nitu Linda and now Bangladesh have to do some defending once again trying to let the ball run out Neha has a collision with Bangladesh's Shurma Jamna Tender. It'll be a free kick for Bangladesh. And it'll be Shurma Jamna who takes that free kick. Went to the 81st minute. Bangladesh failing to control the ball in midfield. And there we see again some good skill this time by. Kanun Rani Bahadur another ball hoofed up forward the goalkeeper getting ready and she comes forward the crowd feeling that there was an infringement there was a foul on Bangladesh's number 14 Srimuthi Krishna Rani the referee is saying you have to get back up I don't think it was a foul and India's Anika Devi the goalkeeper she plays the ball out long Time is running out. India will have another opportunity here. It's their goal scorer, Sibani Devi, who's in space but can't control it forward. Bangladesh bringing three players to converge on her and allow her no space to get the ball away. But now look at that. Lalita Boypai winning the ball in midfield and trying to attack once again for India. It'll be another throw in. Bangladesh have tried to build slowly and steadily but they really need to up the ante again some good defending by India and Bangladesh trying to win the loose ball here inside the D box there might be an opportunity the shot has no power and the decision making is so poor and it's the captain Afida of all players who takes the horrible decision of shooting instead of passing it to someone like Shagurika who was inside the D box one of India's players seems to be down with an injury exactly what happened we're going to have to tell you in a bit but right now the crowd that came here at the Beer stretch to Shohit Shipahi Mustafa Kamal Stadium in Dhaka's Kamalapur they are going to leave home frustrated with Bangladesh having lost this match they're waiting in anticipation to see 
if things are okay. So it was India's number 14, Hina Khatun, who went down for a while. And it's been their number two, Sonibia Devi Rom, who's been so good in front of defense. Now Bangladesh looking to attack, but losing out. Kanun Rani Bahadur being dispossessed by Sulanchana Rao. And look at that. She still got the ball, but number 12, the goal scorer, Sivani Devi, didn't make the run. Join of Bibirita can pounce on the loose ball, play it forward. And now it's Chagurika. She's in midfield. And you can see when she's got the ball, she doesn't see the other players running forward, trying to attack in tandem. India's Hena Khatun once again down. Trying to defend. And she fell, got tripped by Shagorika on that occasion. There was some, uh, there was a bit of collision there between the two players. The crowd getting very, very frustrated seeing that time is being wasted. We've got five minutes, a bit less than five minutes and whatever is added on at the end of the 90 minute mark. Bangladesh will have to depend on something special from one of these players to light up this crowd. Otherwise, they will be going without seeing their home team winning the trophy and defending their championship. Another throw in for Bangladesh. Much more closer to the India D-Box and it's the captain. Afida's throw in that leads to a corner kick now. This could be an opportunity. The crowd are sensing it. You can hear it. The noise being created by them. The corner kick coming in and it hits the top of the bar. Shopna Rani. She wanted to take the direct route. In the end, you have to say it's a good corner kick. Had it been just a bit more to the left, perhaps it wouldn't have hit the bar and it would have gone in. But those are the small margins that are keeping Bangladesh from leveling things. Iti with the throw in. And now another long ball forward. Shagorika, the one who's being aimed for. And now back to India's goalkeeper. The goalkeeper, Anika Devi. And as you see, the Indian coach, Shukla Datta must be happy but at the same time he looks a bit tensed knowing that the advantage is very slim one goal can level things up Saiful Bari T2 for Bangladesh instructing his team to go forward try and press and attack but you can see that's lovely football from India and Neha in space and the ball hits the crossbar a great opportunity and Neha almost giving India a two goal cushion. The shot perhaps lacking a bit of power and rising a bit more than expected. India, they've created all the great chances and really could have had more than three or four goals Shagorika there trying to win the ball again 
this time it's India's number eight, Lalita Boypai, who tried to pass it forward. And now Umela Marma can't control it. You can see as soon as the Bangladesh players have the ball in front of the Indian defense, they seem to take that extra second, that extra touch. It's not happening for them. And the way they've played, they honestly do not deserve to get anything out of this game. It'll be quite the result if they can take this game into extra time. And India's coach seems to have been uh, angered by one of the ball boys, it seems. Now, once again, Bangladesh trying to win that 50-50 to win that loose ball. All India give away is a throw-in. E.T. Khatun once again having to take a long throw-in. E.T. passing it back. Four minutes of extra time have been added on and now India Looking to attack again from the left, it was Neha who ran and ran and ran. You have to give them credit for the way they've attacked. And be sure to subscribe, you're watching us on Sportsworks. Moving forward again, Bangladesh. Lacking invention and creativity. And now Sulanjana Rao with the ball and some control. Playing it forward to the goal scorer. Raul once again trying to build things, but India's number 12 really not keen at all, Sibani Devi, to move forward. And in the end, Sibani Devi missing out on that opportunity. Bangladesh have three minutes left to try and survive. Can they find a late, late equalizer? It seems very unlikely the way India have played. Sibani Devi this time. She's got the ball, crosses it forward. Sulan Janarao, she wanted to have it. And this time the shot comes in from Pooja. He'll be saved by the goalkeeper. Who plays it long once again. Bangladesh. Again winning the ball in midfield, but in most chances, in most cases, they've lost the ball. Now Shagorika moving forward. Very good defending done on that occasion by India's Hina Khatun and it's out for another goal kick brilliant brilliant work there done by the Indian defenders Hina Khatun and especially Sonibia Devi Irom she's been so so good in defense and this match has been won on the back of how well India have defended and how poorly Bangladesh have attacked as well. Now that is very unlikely, very unlike what India have done so far. Probably commentators curse, passing the ball straight out of play for an easy Bangladesh throw in and they win another throw. They've got a minute and a half left in this match to try and equalize join of Bibirita passing it back to Kanun Rani Bahadur who plays a long ball forward now Shagorika has an opportunity and she equalizes Shagorika with the fourth goal of this tournament and with one minute left Bangladesh make it 1-1 one -one against India the tournament is going into extra time, it seems. The crowd go wild. They know how big a goal it is. And again, in the dying moments in the match, Bangladesh have a goal against India in this tournament. They can celebrate for now. As Bangladesh bring parity in this match, in the 94th minute, the last minute 
of extra time. India now have to find another goal. Bangladesh losing the ball in midfield. And it's India's captain now, Nitu Linda, passing it forward to our left flank. Bangladesh playing it away for a throw in. Vikshit Bara with the throw. It's not very accurate. And again, Shagurika. That was the only chance she had in this match. The only really good chance she had, and she took full advantage. Now it's a free kick for Bangladesh. We've played the extra four minutes. And the referee, Ryan Jana, still not doing her whistle. Let's see if they give one more attack. Well, this time she does. So at full time, it ends 1 1, 1 for Bangladesh, 1 for India. There's no separating these two teams. But in all honesty, India deserved to be ahead in this match deserved to win based on the number of chances they created they should have scored more goals and you can see the crowd they've come to life finally they had to wait till the 94th minute in this match for a goal some great scenes here at the Beer Shrestha Shoichi Pai Mustafa Kamal Stadium in Dhaka, Somlapur, but there's a lot left in this match to play. That's twice in a row that Shagorika for Bangladesh has handed them a goal against India the dying moments in the match. It will be a penalty shootout now. As you can see, some of the fans, they're still enjoying themselves here in Dhaka. And they're happy with the home team having equalized right at the death. Some players and fireworks have gone off inside the stadium.
penalty shootout here in the final of the SAF Under-19 Women's Championship 2024 between Bangladesh and India. India took the lead early on in the first half. Thanks to a goal by Sibani Devi. Bangladesh equalizing in the second half in the 94th minute through Shagorika once again who scored for Bangladesh against India. And Bangladesh will start with the first penalty. Bangladesh's captain, Afida, she's missed a penalty in this tournament, mind you. She missed her penalty in the first half of the first match against Nepal hit the bar let's see if she can be on target here India's Anika Devi the goalkeeper and it's in this time she makes no mistake Afida the penalty went in the same direction her first penalty kick went. On that occasion, it hit the bar. This time, she's put Bangladesh ahead. You can listen to the crowd. They're putting pressure on India's number 11, Neha. And Bangladesh is Shona Rani in front. And what a cool and calm penalty by Neha. Brilliantly done. As cool as you like, she can thank the gods. Wonderful, wonderfully taken penalty. And now, before Bangladesh got ready to take the second penalty, Shurma Jannat, the Indian goalkeeper Anika Devi kicking the ball away. Some gamesmanship ahead of the second penalty to just put her off perhaps. Here it is, and almost saved, but it goes in. Shuma breathes a sigh of relief. Her kick went to the right bottom corner, and the keeper, Anika Devi, got a hand to it. But couldn't keep it out, and you can see her frustration because she knows she was diving in the right direction and now it's India's captain Neetu Linda to take the second penalty for India to bring them level Bangladesh currently leading things 2-1 in penalties Bangladesh's keeper Sharnarani Mondol once again oh beautifully taken penalty Sharnarani she really didn't know which way to dive and eventually saw the ball coming to her right. But it was too little too late by the time she did make up her mind. So it's 2 all now. And every time you can see India scoring a goal, there's almost pin drop silence in the stadium. So now the third penalty for Bangladesh. This is pressure on Joyna Bibirita. She's looking nervous. India's goalkeeper almost saved the last penalty. But this time it's in. She makes no mistake. So again putting Bangladesh ahead. Joyna Bibirita's penalty. She celebrates it. Like she scored a goal almost. For India now their goal scorer. Number 12, Sibani Devi. She comes forward and gets ready to take her penalty. Bangladesh's goalkeeper Shona Rani Mondal looked a bit confused during the last penalty kick. It's almost like the team that makes the first mistake here in the penalty shootouts will get knocked out. Will it be India? The goal scorer gets her penalty almost through the middle. And now puts India level. So it's 3 all. 
And again, you can see flat-footed Shana Rani Mondo. She didn't know whether to dive left or right. And by the time she decided, it was a bit too late. So the pressure rising now. Shopna Rani. Bangladesh is number seven. She took a long-range effort in the first half and it was on target. Though it was saved by An Anika Devi, India's keeper. And her penalty almost was saved again. Shopna Rani. She puts Bangladesh 4-3 ahead. And again, the keeper, India's keeper, Anika Devi, got two hands to it. The ball could have ricocheted out of goal, but it didn't. It still went in. It had enough power behind it. India's number eight, Lalita Boypai, coming forward. Again, it's about very small margins now. Who makes the first mistake? Does Lalita Boypai keep this on target? Does Shana Rani Mondo make a save for a change? No, she doesn't. It's on target. India 4, Bangladesh 4. Quite the penalty shootout this. This time, Bangladesh's keeper, Shana Rani Mondo, did dive the wrong way, but it was still away from her by quite some distance. Munki Akhtar now, coming forward for Bangladesh to take the fifth penalty. Will it be the final one for the hosts? Munki Akhtar getting ready. And it's in! The keeper stood her ground probably expecting it to come through the middle but now Bangladesh scoring all five of their penalties and in fact Anika Devi she was going to her right expecting the ball to be in the right corner saw the ball go past into the left corner now pressure on India's Toibisana Chanu Toijan. Tough name to pronounce. And her penalty is in as well. India keeping things cool. So it's 5 all. As penalties continue. Brilliant penalty on that occasion by Toibisana. One of the substitute players for Bangladesh yet to take a penalty. It'll be Iti. Iti Khatun, the right back for Bangladesh. She's good with her throw-ins. Is she good with penalties? We'll find out in just a while. Anika Devi oh, came close to saving it, but Iti gets her penalty in as well. It's on target. Bangladesh now ahead. 6-5. And if India miss this penalty, it will be a win for the hosts. The defending champions of the SAF Under-19 Women's Championship. It is India's number nine, Sulanjana Raul. She's had a very good match and a very good tournament overall. She's getting ready. You expect her to hit on target. And she does. So it's six all. Who's coming forward for Bangladesh? Yes. So 
I was talking about the substitute players. And this is the first time we're seeing one of the substitutes. Number 19, Sultan Akhtar. Can she hit it on target? Yes, she can! 7-6 Bangladesh lead. India have it all to do now again. The keeper was a bit too flat footed. Anika Devi probably thinking it's going to go to her right and then it went to her left. So far no saves made by any of the keeper. All of the penalties have been on target. And now India's number five, Vikshit Bara. A defender by trade. And she get her penalty in. Seems to have a lot of concentration before taking the kick and is on target. India have targeted that uh, left side and have gotten all of their penalty kicks in. And after taking that penalty, you look at Vikshit Bara telling her goalkeeper that, come on, we can do this. You can save a penalty. And we saw India's number nine also do that just a while ago. Sulanjana Rao. Right now for Bangladesh. Coming forward is Humela Marma. This is a big moment for her. Came on as a substitute. Her penalty was almost saved, but it's in. It's in nonetheless. Anika Devi. You really can't fault her. She's put in the effort. On some occasions, she's just been unlucky. She's gotten a hand to it again. Sometimes she's gotten two hands to it, but it's still gone in. So it is 8-7 for Bangladesh in the penalty shootouts. And it'll be Pooja to take this penalty. She's also had a very good match, the right winger for India. And Buja's penalty also goes in. So it's eight all in the penalty shootout. No separating the two teams. Bangladesh's goal scorer, Shagurika. Four goals in this tournament. She comes forward. Keep in mind, Shagurika did not play in the last match against Bhutan. She got a rest. As did Bangladesh's captain, Afida Khandukar. Now, big moment for her. Her penalty goes in as well. Taken very coolly. Made the keeper go the wrong way. In the bottom left corner. Now, for India, it's their number 14, Hina Khatun, the defender. Hina Khatun, can she get her penalty on target? Most of India's players have targeted that left side. Does she also take it on the left side? shot but the referee she feels that Sharna Rani Mondal was probably off her line and Hina Khatun has to take this penalty again Sharna Rani Mondal was off her line in fact She was off her line. That's a brilliant decision by the referee, Ryan Jana. And now the penalty needs to be taken again. Bangladesh leading this. Again, Hina Khatun. This time it's on target. She makes no mistake.
So it's 9 all. She can count her lucky stars, Hina Katun. She gave a bit of a CR7 celebration after, after that goal, it seems. Yeah, bringing up the Sui. And at this moment, Bangladesh's number 15, Kanon Rani Bahadur. She has to take this penalty and it's on. It's in target. It seemed to be missing, but then the keeper also diving in the right way. Had she gotten her fingertips to it, perhaps the ball would have been out, but it's in. So Bangladesh taking 10 penalties and so far scoring in all 10 for India now. It's their number two there. Defender. Who gets it? It hits the bar and it goes in. So it's 10 all. India's Sonibia Devi Irom. She's been brilliant in defense. And again, India's last two penalty kicks haven't been the most confident. So now I think it's Bangladesh's goalkeeper who will have to take the penalty as all 10 players have taken their penalties. And I think the referees are just having a discussion, Ryan Chana, with her first assistant, uh, Sunwar Piran Kumari. So yes, Bangladesh's goalkeeper getting ready. And you can see India's goalkeeper coming forward, putting it in place for her opposite number. Anika Devi, she will have to save this. Shorna Rani Mondol has to take the penalty. Now this is pressure on the goalkeeper. And it's in. Shorna Rani Mondol gets it in. So that is 11 penalties in a row, which has been on target for Bangladesh. So now India's goalkeeper, Anika Devi. She has to get her penalty on target. And it's in brilliantly taken. And now what happens is the players that Bangladesh already used once to take the penalties will come forward again. And it will start with Bangladesh's captain, Afida. Bangladesh's number five. It's been an epic final in the SAF Under-19 Women's Championship. 11 penalty kicks taken by both teams. 11 on target for both teams. There seems to be some issue. The referees just having a word with each other. Referee Ryan Jana having a word with her second assistant, uh, Malika. And now. The referees are calling both teams forward. Because penalties are done, I believe. Yes, penalties are done. And is it going to be decided via a coin toss?
it will be a coin toss and India win! India win the coin toss and as a result of which they are crowned champions Bangladesh's players seem to be complaining about something about the coin toss there seems to be a lot of confusion here India are celebrating their jubilant At the Birsreshta Shohit Sipai Mustafa Kamal Stadium, fans are clearly not happy with the result after being decided by a coin toss. The Bangladesh team seemed to be unhappy with something, but India have been crowned champions of the SAF Under-19 Women's Championship via a coin toss after penalties went 11-11 and the referees they had a word India are celebrating in front of the fans 
and the fans nearly letting their displeasure being heard. <laughs> At this moment, this could get dangerous inside the stadium with plenty of angry fans. And bottles being thrown at some of the players. We had one hell of a final, one heck of a finale, but unfortunately... Bangladesh complaining at the coin toss or after the coin toss seems to stem from some sort of a miscommunication that happened between the refs and Bangladesh. India are celebrating. The celebrations for India and lots of confusion and misery for Bangladesh. The fans have not left the ground, mind you. I don't think whatever happened there, Bangladesh are accepting it. Whatever happened at the coin toss, that is. And Bangladesh's players and team management, they're still there. India continue to celebrate. There are a few bottles coming India's way again. Some really ugly scenes here. And honestly, in all these years of watching football and commentating this is the first time i've witnessed or obviously commentated a match where the result ends via a coin toss perhaps things would have been fairer had the match gone into penalties and the penalties had continued that wasn't to be So the crowd here at Dhaka's Kamalapur very unhappy with the uh, final decision. And the main reason for uh, the crowd getting agitated is perhaps the way Bangladesh also reacted after the coin toss. They, they they're probably saying it, and even the captain it seems like she's trying to explain to the Bangladesh officials that during the coin toss probably she couldn't communicate properly what she wanted to do and as a result of which as a result of a miscommunication India winning Whatever the case, 
this match will go down in history as being a final decided via a coin toss. Currently, the referee is still on the ground, but India's team, India's squad, they're trying to walk back in. And the gates are locked right now.
Okay, so we're back again. SAF Under 19 Women's Championship 2024 in the final match. So the official score was 1 1 to Bangladesh and India, and then we know about the penalties being 11 11. After that, we saw a toss happening, uh, and the referees made a decision to have a toss. But according to the bylaws, a toss is not supposed to take place. The penalties should have continued. So that is something that uh, Bangladesh are contesting. And India, on the other hand, since they've officially been crowned champions or at least announced champions by the refs, so they're saying that that decision should stand. Right now, all we know is that uh, we don't have an official winner yet. And uh, neither India nor Bangladesh have been officially uh, made champions. There is some information that uh, we can say that uh, if play doesn't resume in the next 30 minutes, there is a chance that it may be a walkover as the Indian team, they've entered their dressing room and they are not coming out. So there is an opportunity there that the decision could go in favor of Bangladesh and uh, it could be a walkover. There, there are still... Uh, People at the ground, the crowd, they haven't left. The Bangladesh team, they're out in the field. They're sitting and waiting for a decision. And this is uh, to be discussed by the Bangladesh Football Federation and the Indian Football Federation presidents as well. Right now, they're trying to come to a final decision and a conclusion should be arrived upon soon. But that's what we know so far that uh, the toss did happen, India did win, but the toss wasn't supposed to happen in the first place as per the bylaws. So uh, things could change. Let's see what happens.
commence the final presentation of SAF Under-19 Women's Championship. Here we have with us Honorable State Minister of Youth and Sports, Mr. Nazmul Hassan MP, Mr. Anwarul Haq, Doc, uh, Mr. Mohiuddin Ahmed, MD Aminul Islam, NDC, Mr. Mohiuddin Ahmed Mohi, Ms. Mahfuz Akhtar Kiran, Mr. Zakir Hossain Choudhury, Mr. Ikramul Haq, Mr. Tipu Sultan, Mr. Abu Amir Khan, Mr. Mohidur Rahman, Imran Hossein Tushar. Rajesh Kumar, Rajesh We have a token of appreciation for the Youth and Sports Minister, Mr. Nazmul Hassan, given by SAF General Secretary, Mr. Anwarul Haq. Ladies and gentlemen, as an appreciation to the match officials, we would like to invite SAF General Secretary, Mr. Anwarul Haq, to present the commemorative medals to the match officials for their successful and smooth running of this championship. I'd like to invite our referees, Ms. Joya Chakma, Ms. Sharing Yangche, Ms. Kanika Barman, Ms. Anjan Rai, Ms. Prabhasra, Minister Yapa, Ms. Salma Tarmoni, Ms. Prem Kumari, Ms. Roland Dhar, and of course, Ms. H. M. Malika Madhusharani. We have with us Minister of High Commission of India, Rajesh Agnatri, a special guest with us, and we have a joint champion for the SAF Under-19 Women's Championship. I'd like to invite both the captains from both the teams on the stage 
from India and Bangladesh to receive the trophy. So as we can see, Bangladesh and India have both been crowned joint champions of the South Under-19 Women's Championship 2024. The match ending 1-1 in normal time and then going 11-11 in penalties. And both the captains deservedly sharing the honours in front of all the dignitaries. We've had to wait for over an hour for this decision to be made and finally a decision has come. And as we can see, the Bangladesh team, the Bangladesh squad, in fact, come in front of the stage to celebrate. They won all of their matches in the group stage. And then in an epic final, they held on. India dominated for most parts, but Bangladesh found a goal in the last minute of extra time via Shagorika. And she was the goal scorer against India in the group stage as well. So Bangladesh and India jointly have been crowned champions of the SAF Under-19 Women's Championship 2024. It's been a fantastic tournament throughout, lots of goals, some great football, and some of these names you will see in the future representing the national team. I've been your commentator, Shanu Rabbani, and from us here at Sportsworks and at Bangladesh Television. This is goodbye, good night from us. We'll see you again very, very soon.